Hey guys, what's going on today? Today we're going to be installing the diesel heaters inside the trailer. So we have one right here. We got a little shelf. We're gonna have to put some holes in it. That's gonna get mounted up here under the cabinet. We have a little diesel fuel tank to support it. We're gonna get power from the heater from our previous video when we installed the battery box and the inverter for the lights. We have an exhaust port that's going to go up here, out the side of the trailer. And then we also have a little intake port that's going to come in near where the power wire comes in for the inverter charging system. I'm going to start by just replacing the little mesh screen inside this heater here. It is not brand new. Take that. Okay. Take this guy here and thread him in. You know, we got a brand new. Igniter there, a glow plug. Just gonna hook the power wire back up to it. And we'll just take this little cap. Take a 2 at 10 and a 10 at 2 situation. Yeah. Put that cap back on. Now we need to mark this, these holes into the little shelf I made here. So we'll just peel the gasket off. Set that on. Make sure we get the orientation of the heater right. Because it's going to be against the wall pointing this way. So we just need to make sure that we have the hole at the rear. And then I'm just going to try and center this four inch, four and a half. Uh, and that falls right into the good enough category. I'm just going to mark 16 inches apart here to get the studs on the trailer wall and pre drill a couple holes. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift this into place, the shelf mounted with the heater. I'm gonna repurpose two of these holes here. Hey guys, not sure exactly where we left off here, but we're gonna continue on with the heater install. So I have our rivnets in the wall to hold the platform for the heater. Okay, we have our mount right there that the heater is going to mount on. So I'm going to go ahead and get that installed and then we'll be right back. We have the shelf here installed. Okay, here's the heater tucked away nicely under the shelf. I'm going to put a little hole right here to pass the plug through. Um, I'm going to take this little controller. I did take the little push-in pins from the back and actually I think I'm going to stick it with two-way tape to the side of the heater. I had thought about welding a piece of aluminum there or even mounting it there. But after looking at this, I think what I really want to do is stick it to the side of the heater here. Now this works because I am actually gonna make my own wiring harness. I'm not using the harness they provided. So I'm gonna wire these in direct to the plug here. I'm gonna run my own power and my own ground I'm actually going to cut this plug off and drop it through that hole there and I'm going to drill another hole to put these wires through and we're going to stick the heater or the controller right about there roughly. I think that would look nice. So I've attached a couple wires here for the controller. We only need to get one power from the battery now. I have drilled a little hole here as you can see. Okay, 
the wire is going to follow behind another little hole here up into the cabinet i'm going to install a fuse holder for power i'm going to send one more wire through these holes to provide ground okay this might be a little hard to follow because i've used black wire for everything but basically what i've done is i've run two powers and one ground for the heater i'm going to tape all those together nicely so it's one one solid piece right two powers one ground so i have the ground already hooked up i have one power here hooked up no fuse in it the next power here hooked up no fuse the one with the small wire is going to power the controller and the one with the big wire is hooked up here powering the heater okay we have a little splice here to send the ground down for the fuel pump not sure exactly where i'm putting that yet but that's where we're getting our ground for the pump and then we have our fuel pump control right here this green and red wire everything else here is not needed except for this red wire which needs to be hooked up to this wire i haven't cut it yet and then i'm going to take everything and tuck it up and tape it up there nicely so i did myself a favor here and i hooked up the fuel line to the tank before i mount it to the wall just so i don't have to do that from underneath and i think i'm going to set it right in here beside the breakaway box Okay, I might need a longer self-tapper yet, but there we go. We have this guy here, which can be cut right there. clip I have to grab a different style clip as well but that should be good enough to test our ground wire still makes it and now we need to get a positive wire going just cut it free right there I guess So we're just taking this trim off because we need to look behind the corner of the wall there to see what's there before we send the uh, exhaust piping through the wall. Oh, did you want this one? Yeah, we got to cut that one too. Not very sharp, huh? No, oh, it works. I'm just trying not to scratch the good white. Just trying to pull it free of that caulking. Aha! You got that corner brace and wires coming down. I thought I remembered a corner brace in there. That would have sucked if we drilled that. I'm just trying to roughly follow this just for an idea. Oh fuck, there's a thinker right there. You feel like, unless you didn't ram it Oh, if it's there, it's gonna get ripped out in a second. Number four! By the order. Going to put another strip just in the middle so it doesn't tear? Sure. I would say... Like rough, like... That, rough that's, a good, that's a good drawing. <laughs> I'm good. Quality circle. Just to find, just in case it gets 
Then you make sure you can that hole. Oh, baby. split the gasket a bit, but it means nothing inside, really. The gasket doesn't mean anything. I'm not going to pop screw. Okay. Tip your outside up. Tip that last one up. No, wait. Don't turn yet. Why? Push the bottom one in. The one towards the backyard. There okay, we go. Push the top screw in. There we go. Oh, easy. Okay, what screw are you on? Top one. Okay, I'll turn. Oh, I'm just holding it. Yeah. Okay, next one. Which one you want? Front. Is that gasket getting a good squeeze? Yes, sir. Okay, rear. That one's not great. Well, we're about to do it now. Does that front one need a little more? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, what do you think? She's hose clamps on that shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to do shit when people are moving around in here though. The trailer well, the fucking, whole trailer moves, yeah. It hops and shit. There you go. need I'll hold it for exhaust is going right here. Oh nice. It's actually not a bad distance there. There we go. So then I can put a little clamp that right there, yeah. To the wall. What you, would you do, hose come to the wall and then run this? Yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to run a little pipe maybe to here with how much air blows out of that. I think you should I come think in, I'm yeah. just going to put a pipe at the end here and, and let then it, it at least straight down. Because right now it's pushing here and it might be a little hard on just... What if I were to run it like... You're going to get a kink in that. Oh, that's perfect. Cut my and fucking shards of metal yeah, I did that. Hey guys, next day here. So I'm going to work on cleaning up this heater install a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna take these wires, tidy them up a bit. I'm gonna get some two-way tape, tape the heater controller there. Um, I'm going to clamp these pipes here to the wall. This exhaust pipe gets incredibly hot. I'm gonna have to make some kind of little heat shield for it. Um, I think what I'm going to use for that is the little uh, crown molding trim that I cut when I installed the extra cabinet. So I'm going to make a little heat shield along the wall before I install it. We're going to push this over the wall just to make it a little neater, hopefully a little straighter. We're going to see how much we can get out of that. 
just kind of clean up the bends and make everything look a little nicer. Okay, I'm back. So we've cleaned up all the wiring in here a little bit. I did leave the fuses loose a bit at the top there. Down the side, cleaned up. Cleaned up under there. I finally tied in the wire for the inverter charging cord or the pass-through power or shore power cord. Actually, I think I'm gonna put one more, one more clamp right there. And then come on down. Everything's tied up tight. I put a piece of this trim here as a little heat shield for the wall for the exhaust pipe. Now, one of the things I don't really like, and I may find a way to do this, is I might take this self tapper out, maybe put a riv nut in the back and space this exhaust pipe away from the wall a little bit more. It does get very, very hot. Um, so I am going to maybe adjust that. I'm gonna give it a little test run right now and see how hot it does get. Uh, I did forget to put some two-way tape here, but I will be doing that as well. If you guys like this video, please drop a like. And what we're gonna do here is just give it a little test run and see, see how it performs. Now, I'm gonna put it up a bit today. Can't, I don't know if you can see that. It's just white. I put it to 26 degrees Celsius just to outpace the uh, <clears throat> just to outpace the ambient temperature. One thing I do want to change is I want to change this this hose clamp here. One, it doesn't hold this pipe on very well, right? And two, I want to put some muffler cement in here just to secure this a little bit better because I don't want any exhaust gas leaking in the trailer. Same thing goes right here. I do not like the hose clamp that came with this. It did not come with this heater. Uh, it came with the exhaust pipe I purchased and I'm gonna swap that out. For the intake side, it's not such a big deal. Down here, I still have to put a little bit of, um, I still have to secure that as well, put a little bit of muffler cement in there. But for the most part, everything is tied up nicely and it's clean enough that I'm happy with. Probably going to put a little bit of a guard here, just something. Maybe I'll get those caliber edge glides, edge glides, flex glides, uh, and I'll put that as the strip here so the ski cannot bump or catch any of this, whether it's fuel line or exhaust holes and rip that down. So that's a project for another day though. Currently I'm happy and we're just gonna give this a little test. Okay, I can feel already the exhaust pipe is, is warming up. And the thing I want to check here is how hot that the heat shield I put in here gets. I'll come back in a minute when this thing is really running and we'll see how warm it gets. Okay, just coming back in here. This little heat shield does get quite hot quite quickly. Um, not everywhere. And it's not actually hot, I can hold my hand there. It is quite warm though. So I may wrap this exhaust pipe, or I'm thinking actually it's probably better. How hot's that? It's probably better if I just space it away from the wall a bit. Further I get it, obviously the the less heat we're gonna have flowing into the wall there. 